To hold rails together, of course in the railroad, they use fish plates. Now, I don't know why they call them fish plates, they don't even smell like fish, but fish plates. And many years ago there was a team that came here to work on the tracks, some maintenance, and they installed pieces of flat bar instead of the right fish plates. Because of course they had to do with uh, what they could find, they didn't have the right models. But now we do, and we do some changes. Mais non, mais c'est tout à fait vrai. Et c'est pas du tout rustique. C'est la, la ouais. plus pure réalité. Parce qu'il y en a qui met. Allez, il y a des gens de. Il y a, il y a des Belges, on va dire. And right here, there is something really special going on. The rails are welded, but it's not a good job. And to try to camouflage it, I suppose, they installed these two little pieces of fish plate. That's not good, but luckily we could find the right model of fish plates. Of course, uh, two, I have only one in my hand, but two. But as always, there is of course a problem, because of this rail was cut at a weird position. The holes that are in here, of course they do not correspond anymore with these. Job of today, make this thing fit on here. I suppose you have noticed that I made some pencil marks here on this one and on the other one. Because it is of course way easier to go to the workshop and drill holes in here than drill holes in the rails that I can't bring to the workshop. So let's go over there and see if I can make some holes in these things. Now making holes is not complicated but the right size at the right position. We'll see. And talking about position, this is where I figured out that the distance between these two holes and these two holes is not the same. Of course the joint between two rails comes here in the middle. Strange, I don't know why. And my pencil marks are hardly visible, but when I check with my special me measuring tool here, I mark the position with a sharpie. And these distances are the same as these distances. So that's good.
Before I continue, maybe just a tiny bit of theory. Why is the use of flat bar not good for rails and the right fish plates is good for rails? We have a rail and the second rail comes from here and we leave of course a little gap between two for a heat and cold a change of position, right? Okay. If we put a piece of flat bar here and another one here, in theory it could work very well. Of course it comes a bolt here between and because the both pieces of bar gonna hold the rail in position in line. But this will only work to hold them in place in a horizontal position to keep them aligned this way. Because the holes are always a little bit bigger than the bolts, they are not a positioning device, there could be a difference in height. So this system not good. So I will take away the flat bar and show you the official fish plate. As you can see there is an angle here and an angle here and of course the other side same in the other direction. Which means if we install this one, this is just a piece because it's lighter to hold, this one will give a support here, a little bit in a line here, and then there's a nothing here, and a little bit in a line here, and in an angle here. Official fish plate. Which means that if two plates are installed, they will hold the rails to prevent horizontal movement, but also vertical movement. That's all. I have to drill six times 22 millimeter holes in here. And I think it will be the ideal job for the tackle. But because I really like this machine and I really don't like to have all this rust and sand and all other stuff on it, first I will clean these things up. Because on these parts there is not much surface to clamp on and it's not really straight, I will use some belt sander belts and then parallels and to hold the zwick in place I will install a little spring made from a leftover sheet metal. That will work. As you can see I prepared here a collection of drill bits to pre-drill. It's just that these holes they are 22 mm and the closest thing I have is 23. But I think it will work.
Uh -huh. This one not gonna work. But luckily I have some really nice and brand new viewer gift short drills. So let's use these. One down, five more to go. In theory, every drill bit is made so that you can drill without pre-drilling. So the first holes I did a pre-drill and uh, it took a bit too much time to make changes every time. And then I said, why not give it a go? And so I drilled without pre-drilling 23 millimeters. It's a little bit of hard work, but it worked like a charm. I think that drilling these holes went very well. You never know, M maybe it's hard steel or break something, but here no problem at all. So now it's time to get back over there and install these things. J'avais tout préparé pour avoir le compte. Et finalement, quoi là Ici, c'est plus, sincèrement, c'est plus pour la beauté. C'est quand même beaucoup plus sérieux, ça. Et pour caler. Good.
If you are a regular viewer to the channel, maybe you remember this drilling machine where I had to make these new positioning blocks. And I promised that the day we will use it, you will see it in action. And here it is. And as you can see, it works very well. C'est magnifique, c'est beaucoup moins bruyant, c'est moins remettant. Par contre, sur la traverse, ça va être en effet en même temps. Parce que c'est pas fait. Il va plonger un peu. Hein. On va voir déjà la gueule du trou là. Qu'est-ce que ça donne C'est mieux Ça, ça c'est du vieux matériel, ça. Ouais, enfin. <rire> non, le vieux, ben, c'est ma soeur qui l'a pris pour son truc. Ou quoi que ce soit, là. Quand je suis arrivé ici. Et on aussi utilise ça pour drill holes dans cette partie de la crossing. Mais c'est là où ma caméra refuse de coopérer. Donc, il n'y a pas de vidéo de ça. Mais, ici est le résultat. On a juste installé un bloc de positionnement.